Welcome to Concept Learn. And next coming to another piece of the rice that is the rice green leaf hopper. Here it is having two species. That is the Nephotetix nigropictus and the Nephotetix virescens. And here if you see Nephotetix virescens it is found to cause much damage when compared to that of the Nephotetix nigropictus. And this belongs to the order Homoptera. There is a clear differentiation in between these two species. Here if you see this is regarding the Nephotetix nigropictus. So here if you see there are usually two black spots here. These are the two black spots which are extending back portion of this. These two black spots are usually found extending towards this back of this four wings. And even you will be having a black tinge on the pronotum. See here be having a black tinge on the pronotum and even a black colored band is also present upon the crown. So, within the nigropictus we are having two black spots within the four wings which are extending towards the back portion like this. Here they are having a black tinge on the pronotum and here a crown upon the crown also a black band is usually present. But if you see here in case of the nephotetic virescence, these black spots are present. There is no further extension of these black spots to connecting the basal region of this four wings. Even the black tinge and the black band upon the crown or else upon the pronotum. These both are also absent within this nephotetic virescence. In this case also both the nymphs and adults they will usually suck the sap from the leaves. Here you can see these are the adults and the nymphs which are found sucking sap from the leaves. As they will be sucking sap from the leaves, these leaves usually turn yellow and they will even become stunted in growth. If you see here, the mid half portion, this portion is usually becoming yellow due to the attack of this rice green leaf hopper. And these two species, that is the Nephotetix virescens and the Nephotetix nigropictus, are normally causing the damage. In few cases, they are also transmitting the diseases. And when they are found transmitting the diseases, it is going to incur huge losses within the crops. Remember these things. So, I just told you like here yellowing will be happen from the tips towards downwards. Next coming to its management, early clipping of the infested leaf tips. As these leaf tips were found infested, we have to clip it in the earlier stages only. And even it will be having the alternate host. So, like Panicum species, Echinoclover species and Cypress species. These alternate hosts must be removed within and outside of the field. And few of the resistant varieties to these rice green leaf hopper are IR20, Vani and Vikramarya. Here this is important to be remembered. And here biological control can be practiced by means of the egg parasitoid that is the Oligoceta nephoteticum. And here also it is recommended to follow the seedling root technique with that of the chlorophyrophos and we can go for foliar sprays with the use of the acephate and application of the carbofuron granules. And coming to the next pest that is the rice hespa. It is known as the Dicladispa armigera that belongs to the order Coleoptera. This is the adult image which are usually very small and it is usually square shaped. See these adults are small which are square in shaped and here you can see that this is very shiny in appearance, bluish in color and also shiny. Have a clear look here, we can see many spines upon its thoracic region and upon its elytra. Here you can see many spines. So this can be easily identified by its spines on the thoracic and elytra region and even this bluish black shiny with its square shaped insect. What does these adults do? Adults generally they will scrape the green matter means they will just uh, scrape the green matter usually on the upper surface of the leaf blade. See here how it is being this is known as the scraping. This adult will be scraping as such upon the upper surface of the leaf blade. When coming to the older leaves we can see several white rectangular streaks parallel to that of the veins. See these are the several parallel rectangular streaks. Rectangular streaks are the are usually formed by that of the rice hispa and we can also see in the grubs its immature stages. Here you see this is the immature stage of this rice hispa known as the grub and here it will be feeding upon these leaf tissues causing the blister spots towards the leaf tip. 
usually it will be covered here like this with the type of the membrane and within those it will be formed and as soon as it feeds upon that leaf tip portion it results in the formation of blister spots coming to its life cycle here eggs are laid beneath the epidermis of the tender leaves and they will be hatching within 4 to 5 days and larval period lasts for 7 to 12 days and here pupation occurs within the leaf mine. Here just now we have seen the grub stage will be situated within those leaf mines. Similarly within the leaf mines itself the pupation will takes place and the beetle will emerge with just within 3 to 5 days and the life cycle lasts for about 6 to 10 days.